Yes. Okay. So for those of you that are on the live currently, guys, please tap like and share so that we can uh, spread the love and get this interview out. You guys are going to want to hear what Crystal has to say because she is one of the top five millionaires in South Africa. And she's going to share some valuable tips with us today of what she has done to get to where she is currently today. So I am very sure that you guys want to hear it. <laughs> oh, awesome. word. Annika, to be brutally honest with you, my, my sweetheart, it is so, it's still so surreal. I mean, I, I probably hit my millionaire status like two months ago already. And every time I think of it, I get like butterflies and it feels like the blood leaves my body. It's like, really? Did that really? Have, I know it's me, but is it really me? <laughs> it's still so surreal believe it um i heard that you said i think it was last night or the night before that you're on your way to your second million <laughs> i have proclaimed and i believe and it is going to happen i need about three thousand dollars then i'll hit my hundred thousand dollars Amen. I speak oh, increase be... over your business right now. <laughs> yes, I've got goosebumps. So I should, I should, uh, not not should. If you take into consideration what I've earned in the last couple of four, in the last four months, I will hit two million rand this month. Definitely. Yes. Amen. It's insane. It's insane. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to grasp the fact that I've hit a million rand and I'm on my way this month. So I will be a multimillionaire. Wow. <laughs> so Prinda Pillay, to send some my way, please. Well, Prinda, if you want to know how, then stick around because she is going to be spilling some beans today. So I think let's not delay and we're going to jump right in. I'm going to be asking five valuable questions and Christelle's going to tell us everything. Yay. Perfect. <laughs> With pleasure. I'm here to share. Do you know what? I like sharing. I like giving advice. Thank I you. like sharing. I like, I like investing in people emotionally and educationally and i mean if it could work for me then it can work for you why not absolutely and that is one thing that i can literally honestly say about crystal is that she is always happy to help i can whatsapp her 10 o'clock at night and she will literally answer me and say do this and do that and do this so she is really helpful guys crystal is a great leader she is a great mentor she really is somebody somebody that i look up to in this industry and on the road and the journey that we are on so it is going to be amazing to hear from you i just can't wait so first question can you describe your journey into digital marketing and what inspired you to start okay so i am a single mommy um i had gone from being like really successful in the business in the business world where i owned um two business actually three businesses in total but uh, of late i owned a real estate agency and i owned a restaurant a, i co-owned a restaurant and unfortunately due to COVID, i lost both businesses um but i was also blessed with a little girl at the age of 43 where i fell pregnant and um and i believe that god gave me this little girl my best friend and um, this late in life so that i can actually spend time with her so i was looking for opportunities where i can work from home now being a restauranteur that afforded me being at home having flexible time but our, uh, our restaurant was closed down because um, we like literally just couldn't afford it. It was such a bad time because it was just after COVID and during COVID and we like literally never got off the ground. So that was closed down and I then was a single mommy and I had to try and find some way of supporting my family because I had nothing else to fall back on. So I started looking online, looking online. I was doing a little bit of network marketing, MLM, got money there, um, but it was literally not enough. I was posting till I was blue in the face to make 250 Rand, to make 150 Rand. Um, and eventually I just, I prayed and I'm like, I'm looking for something else. Um, I worked for two foreign companies then. Um, and um, at the end of August last year, I lost both my jobs. Now I worked for both companies for eight months. <laughs> And at the end of August, within a period of two weeks, I lost both my jobs. But I think it was also God's hand in that. Because as a single mommy, I was working from 4 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night to earn 18,000 Rand a month. Now, I'm grateful for the salary, but the amount of 
pressure that it put specifically on my little two-year-old was intense. It was really hectic. And then I found digital marketing. Um, somebody told me about it. I saw it on a mom group and I was not interested. And then I saw it again, inquired, and I still wasn't interested. And by the third time, I'm like, okay, 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 I'm getting the message. I should listen. So I um, I did, inquired about it and I prayed about it. And then I got four confirmations that digital marketing is for me. So now I must tell you, I, start, I, I didn't have the money. You must remember, I lost both my jobs at the end of August. <laughs> and with that, single mom in a small town, 46 years old, um, overqualified, I couldn't find a job in this little town. So um, for a period of two months, my mom had to pay my groceries for me. That is how dismal my life was. And then when I found digital marketing, my mom was the one that after three weeks of trying to raise money, my mom's the one that paid for me. I got started on the $600 program. So I got started end of October and um, didn't make money my first month because again, I was not coachable. I decided, you know what, I know how, how to sell, so I'm not going to I'm not going to apply what I had to. So I had to become coachable. Became coachable, and once I did that, I started making money. But I must tell you, once I said yes to digital marketing, once I found my groove, the one day my little girl was sitting on my lap and she uh, and I was laughing, and she looked at me and she held my face and she's like, "Oh, mommy, you happy?" Oh. And if a two-year-old can see the difference in you, then you know. And that mm. is what got me started. Um, it was not without trials and tribulations. Um, week three, I got a complete and utter meltdown. I thought I broke TikTok. Um, I, um, I thought my posts weren't getting out and I reset my algorithm and I cleared my stuff and it was just an up, up, up to mess. But I kept my accounts. I kept doing the, the same thing. And then I got the advice to do my training correctly. I had to go back and I had to go how to find, I had to go and do how to find your perfect customer correctly. And when I did that, everything changed for me. That was the Thursday of the end of week four. The Friday, mm -hmm. I started earning money. And it has now been six and a half months where I've earned money every single day i've earned a thousand dollars for the for today so far wow <laughs> yes that is amazing okay so the key tip there is is that you were not coachable in the beginning but then you realized it and you went back and you changed and you started doing the training and that is what was you know the game changer for you in, yes. in the, your beginning phase because something that i realize with people that start out um, new they in it, it, it's around about the third week then everybody starts being like oh i'm doing something wrong and they start doubting themselves and and they just need to actually push through because uh, that's what you did and I mean look where you are at now so that gives a lot of hope to a lot of people out there that uh, just maybe started out and guys if you feel like you you know they, there's no hope for you nobody's watching your content you're doing something wrong that is not the truth stick to it and do it and I mean here yeah, we just heard it it is it, it's going to work for you if you're going to be coachable so I it's think exactly that, that's Annika, it's the three C's. It's coachable, consistent, and your content. If yeah. that is correct, you will have success. But remember, you on uh, consistency is three times a day on TikTok, mm -hmm. seven days a week, 365 days. There is if you skip two days, you reset your algorithm and you start from scratch. And that's the thing. Everyone gives up like or a lot of people give up like on week three. I emailed Michelle. I'm like, Michelle, I, I, I it's not working my program's not working for me i can't remember what she answered me but it was not <laughs> it was like really after three weeks what exactly have you so yeah uh, <laughs> so, go back to your training you know a lot of people don't realize when we say you need to be consistent it's going to take a lot of hard work i already to stay consistent and and uh, people put in three weeks worth of consistency and then they expect to see uh, thousands and millions of dollars but it doesn't work that way it, it takes a while to form the snowball and consistency keeps on it, it becomes a daily habit eventually like you said now so, and also yeah. people buy from people they know, like and trust. Someone's yes. not going to know you in three weeks. Yes. 
true and true. also if your content is salesy they're going to know a sale they're not going to know you so your content needs to be correct yes i am making notes <laughs> so um okay so let's go on this is kind of the main the main focus of what we want to kind of talk to you about and come back again what are the top three things that were an absolute game changer for your business growth how to find your perfect customer that was that was the game changer for me how to and it's a lot of people struggle with that the one tip that I can give you is your perfect custom is you at your worst in your life. That yes. is you. Mm. That is you. That it, it, it's not. It's not. It's not somebody that is a hairdresser. It is not because you're a hairdresser. It is not somebody. <laughs> that's so cool. It is not somebody that is um, uh, that is a stay at home mom. It is you at your worst. What has happened to you that has completely shaken your um, your foundation? And then um, a lot of people, like when you start making content, you like try and remember everything about this program and you like try and remember on the tips of your finger. I had it like stuck against a pillow, against a chair uh, to get it the right angle. And you're trying to remember something that is that is foreign to you. Just remember your yeah. story. That is when it becomes natural that because and, and and the second word, relatable, 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 relatable. Any time that you post content, Make sure that it is relatable. Yes. Oh my goodness. I remember the one day you made a post and you said, have you ever canceled a coffee date with somebody because you just knew that you didn't have the money to pay and you scared you're going to get there and you're going to have to pay the bill. And I could so relate to that. I was like, how did you know? <laughs> so that really does work because when somebody has gone through something and, and that's why you say now your story is you in your worst time because you because then it comes from your heart right because you have experience with that and that's when people feel it and they feel and they relate to it because you're really talking from your heart and that's why because you, like you said now when you're making salesy content then people don't relate to that they don't want to hear it's like michelle always says um the product doesn't really matter it's it's no. where the destination the destination not the the airplane but the destination right and so the yeah. solution the solution that you can give someone that is in your position yes oh my goodness that is so amazing okay so the correct content um you say okay first of all you said your perfect customer and i actually have somebody on here that says i'm still not sure who's my perfect customer so crystal just answered that and she said your perfect customer is you at your worst because anybody because you're going to attract your tribe and your perfect customer is going to re relate to what you have said um and then your story and then relatable content uh, so those were the three ones right and how do you connect to somebody emotionally by telling yes. what you are emotional and passionate about because when you connect with somebody emotional emotionally that is when you find your perfect customer because my perfect customer and your perfect customer is two different people if i don't yeah. show up for my perfect customer today they're not going to go to you they're going to yeah. miss out on an opportunity yes and i must say you know what my biggest problem was in the beginning because i also struggled with the perfect customer thing um was that i was generally just speaking to everybody that didn't have money <laughs> you know because i was focusing on making money yes. and i was okay uh, this can make you so much money 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 and you you forget that everybody in the world wants money but you you don't realize and you think oh you're just going to talk at everybody and i made that mistake in the beginning also because i thought oh well i'm just going to speak to everybody because everybody needs money yes. but it's actually better to niche down and to just speak to one kind of person being you at your worst whoever you are Michelle, yeah. whenever I have some time um, in the evening specifically, I do pop onto Michelle's lives as often as I can. And she also said, you're not, her, her target is like this, this narrow. 
She doesn't. She doesn't market to that. She don't because she she would rather have ten of her perfect customers than a hundred of her non-perfect customers. And it's yes. exactly that. Rather work with the people that want to work with you than kind of like uh, working on a shotgun approach and hoping that something would stick. Yeah, and 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 it's a big problem that a lot of people make. I think because of a scarcity mentality vibe, you think, okay, well, what if I miss those people or those people? But actually, there's there's a niche for everything. So if you niche down, I think, yeah, you will and you will attract the people. Like you always say to me, I know you always say this to me in voice notes and stuff. You say to me, the people that are meant to find you will find yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was, I was about to say that. What's meant for you will find you. What's meant for you will find you. And this is, again, this is, this is an energy thing. If you are positive, you're going to attract positivity. And that is, and you're going to attract the person that is on the same frequ frequency than you. So yes. um, um, I just want to kind of throw something else in here. Um, so I, I don't know who is on the $900 legacy um, builder. Last week, um, Tuesday, we had training and Michelle actually gave such a valuable training. And, and whoever wants to use this, it, it's fantastic. I actually get goosebumps every time I think about it. She said, um, and this was not the, the complete basis of her training, but in, in a part of it, she said, do not create a video for to yourself where you congratulate yourself for what you've achieved this month and listen wow. to it every morning and every night yes. that's why i know i'm going to achieve what i achieved this month Amen. because i've already spoken it into existence i listened to it first thing last thing that is what i do and even before i before i uh, create um, any of my content i listen to that because it just reminds me of why i am doing this Yes, it's amazing. I've uh, done some of Michelle's training as well, where she says, you know, speak to yourself, make a voice note to yourself right now, and then listen to that after this 90 days or whatever. And it is amazing how you can just see your own growth. I mean, I, I speak about this a lot when I have my lives as well. Go look at anybody, guys, that started out on this journey. Go look at their first video they posted and look at their video they posted today. <laughs> it's a different person, literally. So yes, it's absolutely amazing. And people think we are crazy because we you do affirmations and you speak to yourself and you make voice notes to yourself. But if you have made up your mind and you are 100% committed to something, then you do ridiculous things sometimes. You know, you got to take it to the extreme. And I mean, that's, oh my goodness, that is amazing. I just love what you just but said. But we create our futures. We are the ones that create absolutely. our futures. So Absolutely. you've got a blank, you've got a blank sheet. What are you creating? <laughs> it takes and the same amount of effort to be scared of something and to doubt something than it does to take to be to, to, to believe in something. You just decide yeah. what which one you want to go for. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I've got somebody that says, yeah, I also found I have this amazing life live but i need to turn them into a customer how so um, well what we were just saying is you know christelle's tips that she just gave us is that you have got to be speaking to your perfect customer then people will like know and trust you and you and don't give up just because you're having lives and they're amazing but people are not getting back to you doesn't mean they're not following you doesn't mean they're not thinking about following you or joining uh, you know the program that we have um so yeah, I would just say consistency and showing up every day, like Christelle said now, and let's keep going. Maybe we'll find more. And, and you know what? I have, I haven't really come, and I mean, I've been doing this for seven months. I haven't really come across a customer that buys immediately. It took me three weeks. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I can't it remember took me how three months exactly so you are not going to find somebody that is going to be on your life ask a question ask you for your details and you're going to send them details and they're going to deposit money into your into your payment platform and it's over and done with it doesn't happen <laughs> people do take time people are not all financially ready and people want to but they don't all have the means but mm -hmm. this is a relationship now like I said, when you come to where I am, where I've been doing this for seven months, I am now at the point where I earn daily. I literally, I earn Amazing. daily. 
but it's also because the relationships have been formed. People that, that are connected with two months ago is ready to purchase today. Oh, wow. My mom says she is loving this. <laughs> yeah. Hello, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on to number three. And this is a big one for me. I want you guys to listen now. What are some common mistakes that you see beginners making in digital marketing? <laughs> selling, selling. I would have somebody that, that, uh, that, that's just joined me and they'll be, but they're posting and they're posting three times a day, but they're not getting likes and they're not getting views. And all, uh, all of the content is about product and selling and the airplane. That's all that they're talking yes. about. And they don't understand why they're not getting, why they're not getting, um, views or they're not getting, um, uh, they're not getting engagement. And, um, what's, what's fantastic is Michelle tells you within 12, within, within, within three seconds, you need to grab a customer. So if you're going to be salesy, gone. So, or, or if somebody starts with hello, hi so yes it's cold today gone yeah. that person's <laughs> gone it needs to be get get your story out there because your your average tiktok user is um is scrolling if you don't yeah. grab them within three seconds they are gone so you need to grab them okay that's the first thing and secondly within your first 12 posts if i don't know who you are that's your mistake because you are salesy. Where is anyone supposed to connect to you? Where are you relatable? But that is the mm. biggest mistake people do. And that is what we all do because we kind of like don't know where to start. That you mm. think you need to sell the plane. But actually, yeah. the secret is you need to sell yourself. That is the yes. secret. Because yes. people buy from you. They don't buy the and product. The product is irre irrelevant. Yeah. It's you. And it's a hard eh, to transition from because we're so used to the way the world works in the world. When you have a normal job, you have to sell the product and you have to like the property, the house, the car, the coffee. Exactly. Yes. And now you have to like transition into realizing, but hey, this is my business. People are going to buy because they like me and they yes. like what I saying and they relate to what i'm saying and it's it is not easy to actually do that but i think once you get into it then you are ever away you you can roll and i mean you have mastered that literally like literally um i think everybody knows your story there was one stage when i was watching your videos every day and i was thinking to myself you you literally telling your story over and over and over and I thought about it and I was like, well, that's a, a very good thing to do because yesterday 10 people watched it, but that, that doesn't mean the 10 people that are watching it today saw it yesterday. And I mean, it, it is what is making you successful is that you realize that, you know, there's 5 billion people on social media and to make one video one time about your story is not going to work. You got to do it over and over and over. And, and, and that's what you've been doing and that I've been seeing, you know, a uh, great success with what you have been doing with that, man, it's been amazing. And, and, and you know what's the, the, the secret that no one realizes and what we don't sell is that I don't know about you, but I have had a rough, I've had a rough four years where I have lost everything from mm. my confidence, from me, from, from my self-worth um that is besides businesses that is besides the band taking my car um and just the, the absolute shame that i had the the two months when my mom had to purchase my groceries for me um when you start talking about your hurts the worst time in your life that is when you heal so yeah. In a way, with uh, and I don't know if this is planned or how it's worked, but Michelle is healing us mm. from our hurts. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, I I believe in my heart that there is such an anointing on her in the business space, and the Lord has placed her exactly where she needs to be. Because I mean, look what she has done. And I I actually made a post about this the other day, and I said one person even if there's one person on your life that one person can change entire thousands of generations like michelle yes. has i mean it's it's 
It's absolutely amazing. Why? Because she believed in herself and she was fed up of where she was and she, she realized she needed to change something and that was her. And exactly. And again, do you know what? It was because of one post, one post that Michelle saw by mistake. Her little, her little granddaughter had her phone and her phone was open on a, on a post. And if you, if you don't tell me that is meant for, for you, then I don't know what is. Her little daughter had a, had a faceless post. It's what four liners and wow. that has changed. What are, what are we sitting on? Is it 22,000? 22,500 people's lives yes. in our community. One yes. single post. So what can your post do today? Take into consideration, this is for life. How many people's lives are you going to change? That just blew my mind. Like, <laughs> it is literally like Michelle said, you get to get up in the morning and you get to say, how many people's lives can I change today? And just that mentality, it changes you. It changes everything in your life. It's, oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's so it's beautiful cool. that what Brent Benz just said, uh, by mistake on purpose sent from God. Amen. 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 If something is meant for you, it will find you. Amen. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. Oh. So, so uh, next question, number four, um, what can you share, uh, you know, whether it be a specific campaign or specific uh, strategy that you used that um, was particularly successful for you and what made it stand out? Oh, gracious there's actually nothing as a whole that's that stood out um i think it's it's the whole journey um one thing that stands out for me is is if 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 you are at all possible if it's at all within your means attend every live that you can attend every live training that you can um, specifically like with um with a 900 dollar um, legacy builder training that we do um yes. we um we generally have that on a tuesday i see oh, it's um it's one o'clock tomorrow morning so it might be a little bit difficult but if it's within your mean means try and attend those why because they're interactive they live um with the 900 dollar legacy builder specifically you get put into breakout rooms where you where you get to share your story with like-minded people and very often you get these aha moments and it's like my word i didn't think of that so that would be my one suggestion that if you can it doesn't matter how often attend the live trainings yes there is a replay there is it is always there but it's just there's something different there's just magic when it is when you are really there and you get to answer your questions and what's also really nice about the legacy builder is that michelle uh, the one we actually had it was five hours long where michelle mm -hmm. answered each and every question every question wow she is just pouring into the community eh? um i admire her so much wow i must say that i have not been attending the 900 dollar um lives because it's just been too much for me at the stage where i'm in because i'm kind of going in a different direction uh creating my own products and stuff which should actually make me watch those lives but i went on the one night and then she it was about creating your own community and she and then she wanted us to go into breakout rooms and i kind of freaked out and i was like no i don't know what to do and i went off <laughs> oh, shame I my friend. I and i was like oh my goodness okay maybe next time so but yes i will i've written that down and i'm gonna oh, catch up on that because i have heard so many nice stories about the lives that she is doing with the 900 dollar community and i mean i'm on the 900 i have access to all of that but i don't yeah i just need to do it i actually don't even know what is holding me back from doing that i just feel like i'm not there yet uh but that's just maybe in my mind mm. yeah. but order of, in order of importance for me um that i focus on is the the 90 day legacy run that is yes. like that is as important to me as my morning coffee um, I, I don't start my day without that so that that i do um and i the second to that would be the the legacy builder training 
Everything over and above that is a bonus, but those are the two things that I do religiously. Um, if I can, I, I know tomorrow night we've got Lawrence and John's. I will, if I can, I will attend that. Um, the mentoring course, if I can, I will attend that. But those are the two that I really do religiously. I must be brutally honest with you. Um, I think I haven't even really spent that much time in my Kajabi, um, in my Legacy Builder program. I haven't really done that so much, um, which I would like to concentrate on more, which I am now starting. I, I've got a little bit more time. I, I, I was blessed. There's this beautiful lady that came into across my path where she now handles all my customers tech for them. Um, so I don't do that anymore. Um, so that's kind of freed me up. Also taking into consideration, um, I think for last month, I did 150 sales. So can you imagine doing all of those mm. customer setups? So she handles that for me. So I now get to put back into my business and also make mentor and coach more that is what i'm grateful for and that is one thing that i also have been looking at because um you know once you grow to that size and you have that many people that have bought from you um and are changing lives all over the the globe you know you start uh, having to decide and prioritize what am i going to outsource because i still need to show up and i still need to pour out yes and 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 that is that is something that is very important once you get to you know the level of exactly where you are right now i mean i'm i'm not even where you are right now but i already feel like i've got stuff that i need to outsource because i'm working on a blog and all kinds of stuff and uh you know the two hour work day to get done what we need to do for the promoting of the products yes we can do that but then you you want to go in your own direction and kind of do some other thingies and this or that and i kind of am doing all of that stuff at the moment and i find that i'm at the point where i want to outsource some of my stuff already <laughs> you know so it's great it that you is, because do you know what i actually burn i actually work myself to burn out probably three times because wow. I was, I, I was doing that. I, I'm actually, I, unfortunately, I'm an all or nothing person. I can't mm. do anything halfway. So <laughs> I would sit from five o'clock in the morning to eleven o'clock at night and trying to help people sort. And and I literally worked myself to burn out. And I and this the this tech support lady was literally an answer to my prayers. Um, wow. so I could now reinvest. I could put the mask back on my face, and I can now be of value where i'm mm. really needed and somebody and and this is her dream she wants to be tech support she's part of our community but that is her dream so i am realizing her dreams and i'm working on mine so it, it, it's amazing how this again it's just god's god's way of ma work, making this um, work for everyone yeah. And how, how he makes things fall into place and sends destiny helpers across your path so that the, yes. the vision and the mission can be done. You know, oh my goodness. Exactly. Um, we've got a lady that says, how do you sound not desperate? Do you want to maybe answer that one? You talk from your heart. you like, really? Just talk from your heart. Um, I, I had somebody that messaged me yesterday and she's like, so do I have a week schedule? I'm like, no, I like <laughs> literally, um, I have no schedule. I, I, I literally, I would listen to Michelle's training and there will be like three, three words or three sentences that she says. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to create a video about that. Um, I am in a situation, for instance, now where my mom is um, at the point of possibly losing her job. Um, and that was quite a good um, a good story to tell because it's a lesson that you need to learn. After 35 years, my mom's going to walk out with her handbag and a coffee cup. Yeah. What does she have to show for it? Yeah. Fortunately, I am in a position that I can take care of her. But I don't... I, things just come to me messages come to me stories come to me a, a word come to me i see something on, on on facebook and it comes to me um and that's what i create and i believe I, I don't overthink things i don't think i just i just talk from my heart i also um i create a video and i probably just cut a couple of pieces out but i really don't overthink um there, there's a point there's a point of um so what i would do I, my, my, my content is generally a minute long 30 seconds I tell my story without getting too soppy um, and without telling my whole <laughs> my whole story and then 30 seconds I give the solution and I do a call to action 
Yes, I've I've seen some of your content and 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 what I I think what I love the most about your content is that sometimes I look at your content and my mouth hangs open because you are always happy. You are always excited and I'm like, "How do you do this? <laughs> How are you always happy?" <laughs> Do you know why? Because for three years I had to put my son's dreams on hold. Every year I was involved. I mean, I was involved with um I don't know who else was there, but like Peace Ranch, where I was milking virtual cows um for for a return investment, and I was involved with C12, and I was involved with um, Louise Diamonds, and I was involved with everything. And every time there is this promise of these huge incomes, and I'm like, okay. Christo, we can now do your your studies, and every time it fails. Yeah. So for three years, I had to crush his dreams. Okay, then I found digital marketing, and I started earning an income, and I could buy his his um, his um, IT program for him. Yeah. Then I could buy his laptop. Then he could go to to the optometrist and get his glasses. Then he could go to doctor and he could get his concerta so that he can concentrate because he is ADHD, dyslexic and high functioning autistic. So um, I get to realize my son's dreams. I've purchased mm -hmm. his plane ticket. He's flying out on the 31st of October to England. Oh. His dream is becoming a reality. So I am starting to live my dreams, his dreams are reality. So he's mm. loving life. My dreams are becoming a reality. I'm becoming a digital nomad. My mom that is stressed and um, with my dad that is sickly, um, I, I can support them and we can put my dad in specialized care. And um, I get to I get to share the most amazing life changing. It's not life changing. Digital marketing to me is life giving. It's given yes. me my life back. It's given me my hope back. It's given me my dreams back. It's given me my time with my children back. Um, that is why I'm so happy because I get to change people's lives daily. Every time that somebody says yes, I'm like, yay, somebody's life that I get to change. Yes. And, oh. and that's, you know, that is really, a, a, that is a secret is that, you know, you can't show up like, hi, guys, no. uh, you know, because nobody's going to actually want to. They're just going to scroll by. There is so much act uh, like hype activity on uh, TikTok. And I think that is where you fit it right in because you are a high energy person and high energy is what what attract money to you because i watched a, a, a pastor the other day and he was speaking about this and he said um this is not a new age thing guys uh, attracting money is a high energy activity he said it's it a just happy like activity yes it, and it, and god wants us to be prosperous you know it's not a sin to have money god wants us to have money so and i mean I, you absolutely ace that <laughs> and, and it's exactly that i mean how 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 many people are stuck in a job that they hate in a financial situation that, that they hate two jobs that they're working um yeah. stressing how are they going to get by so they are so negative and they're so down and so depressed so giving them or, or having a video out there where it's like dreary and it's like there's like hello yeah <laughs> no you want to give people hope and emotion and happy and realizing that you know what yes i want what she's got what was that yes. one ad? what was it there was an ad a, a long time ago it's like i want to have what she's having and that is what you want to create you yeah. want to give people the feeling that oh, I want to have that too. If she can do it, I can do it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It's it's about the emotion, right? The re relatability, which you said earlier. My goodness. Okay. So five, this is absolutely amazing. I am thankful so much that you are joining us today. Okay. So last one, guys. What advice would you give to someone who is looking to scale their online presence? <laughs> be coachable be coachable be coachable if michelle tells you to jump you jump if michelle tells you to turn around you turn around if michelle tells you in the launch to profit in seven days to do a you do that that is what i would suggest if um if you are thinking of okay sorry about that no okay. thanks. if you are thinking about digital marketing do it do it do it. 
I mean, the worst that can happen to you is that you can lose 18,000 rand. That's the yeah. absolute worst. Um, now, I don't know about you. I've lost 240,000 rand online with schemes where I paid money into a program where I didn't even know who the person was behind the scenes. Whereas Michelle, every Friday, 7 o'clock clockwork, you can find her on, 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 a, on a webinar. You can ask her questions. You, there, yeah. um, at the bottom of her email, there's her, her home address. If you follow her long enough, you know her whole story. That is a relatable person. That is a real person. That is a person that I can talk to on email. That is a person that I can talk to on Zoom. Um, that is what I'm saying. If, if anyone is thinking about digital marketing, say yes. Just say mm -hmm. yes, jump in, and later on you will learn. The, um, Richard Branson actually said that. Do you know what? If somebody offers you an opportunity and you don't know how to do it, say yes and find out later. Because yes, opportunities yes. like these is absolutely what we've been praying for. This is what we have been praying yes. for. Amen. So just jump. Just just do it. Like I said, worst case scenario, your the worst the, the most amount of money that you put into this is eighteen thousand rand. That is the highest program. Yes. But what are you going to get into re in return? Lifetime training. Lifetime. Lifetime. Lifetime training for eighteen thousand rand. Yeah, it's absolutely nothing to invest in yourself. And it's not an investment, but you do invest in your education. You do. But I always say to people, for $900, you get the lifetime interactive evergreen training and you get done for your products for the value of 1900 but you've only paid 900 And one sale and your business is in profit mode. I mean, it's, a, it's an absolute... No brainer. <laughs> it's a no brainer. And I mean, like, um, uh, 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 Liba Annika, I would really suggest that if you can attend the $900 um, trainings, one of those trainings is worth $900. Uh, yes. the, 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 the value that you get on a weekly basis is $900. Yes, so, absolutely. And also, like I said earlier, it's not just about the money. Yes, the money is fantastic, but it is the healing. I would pay $900 for this as a self-help improvement investment in myself without yeah. having the product to sell. Now that I know what's in this, this is probably the most valuable. There's a lady, um, and, I, and I don't think I'm going to find it that quickly, but there's a lady that did a post hey within, um, within 10 days. Within 13 days, she made $10,000 and she was just absolutely blown away about how Michelle is disrupting just not, not just the digital marketing, but the way that life coaching is happening because she's on a next level. It's like you said, there's an anointing over Michelle and she pours that anointing into us. That is why you attract such amazing people because yes. what you are, you attract absolutely absolutely i've got somebody here that's asking uh, the 900 dollars training is tonight yes so if you have bought the 900 dollars, then you get vip interactive live training and uh, it is every tuesday night um you can just go if you're part of the community you can go into the calendar and just go check the times like christelle said she thinks tonight's one is maybe in the u.s time which will yeah, be one o'clock Okay, yeah, and then Danielle says that she just made a six hundred dollars sale. <laughs> Congratulations! I'm so proud of her. Oh my goodness, she has been showing up like the sun shines every day. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Congratulations, Danielle. You go, girl. This is what this is, guys. It's like waking up and there's like nine hundred dollars in your account, and um, that was uh, uh, Danica. Monday morning, woke up to a $900 sale. Do you know what that no. feels like? Now, taking into consideration again, I'm, I'm at the $900. I upgraded to the $900 the moment I could. Um, but my whole business, all in all, cost me 18,000 Rand. 18,000 Rand. Within a year, within six months, I became a self made online millionaire. So I paid 18,000 Rand. I made 982,000 Rand profit off yes. a program that cost me 18,000 Rand. 
<laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy what you can do with this. Wow. And you know what? I admire you the most for just where you came from and how you know i can just imagine because i mean myself the last four years for me and my family has been rough as well i think all of us you know COVID just absolutely destroyed a lot of things but also the god had god had a plan in in all of it because he needed to change our direction but i admire the fact that you know when i've listened to your story before i I, I, I always put myself in other people's shoes to try and understand. And I think to myself, you know what? How many mornings did you have to wake up in the beginning and, and doubt yourself and get rid of that doubt and fight for what you wanted? And I, I absolutely just, I look up to you because, I mean, you, you are the, the pinnacle of hope for everybody, every one of us, you know, that are trying to get there. Uh, and I think my biggest mistake, guys, that I make made in the beginning was I was too scared to go live. Um, I was back and forth with all the people that are going live and asking them, is it really going to help if I go live? You know, is it really going to help if I, and, and then I just got over that fear and now I love going live. <laughs> yes, and I love it. It's my favorite time of the day. <laughs> but it took me forever. And, and I mean, I held myself back because I was like, I don't really want to go live. I don't really want to expose more of myself. And I had that thing that was holding me back. And obviously it was a simple thing, but to me it was a real thing. And there's a lot of people that are struggling with that. But guys, 100%. 100%. you got to believe in yourself 100%. And that is, oh my goodness, that's just what Christelle did. Just be you. Because the other mistake that I made is I was so fixated on everyone else. I uh, There was a lady and um, I took her content. I literally copied her content word for word. I copied her uh, writing on the screen. I copied her hashtags word for word. Her video got like 30,000 views. Mine got like 100. That <laughs> yeah. broke me. And, 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 and I was like, I'm not good enough. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Concentrate on you because you are authentically you. No one can be better than you than you. Just be yeah. you. People are going to love you for you, not for That's impersonating cool. somebody else yeah yeah and and you know what one thing that i think that this this i always say this as well to everybody the one thing and there is no price on this is that this this business has literally given me my self-worth back it has shown me to how to start loving myself again because you know life crushes you and you go through things in life that you can't even forgive yourself for sometimes but you've got to get over that and shake it off and you've got to just you know believe in yourself and be who you are like you said and it's it's not easy because you do you do get stuck in that pit and that spiral but you've got to go for it and every day gets better every day that you do this you get better Annika my friend seven months ago I didn't put a photograph of my children and I on Facebook I had no confidence no, I had no self-worth me too. If you scrolled on my Facebook page, it would only be words that I received from the Lord. I, I literally used my Facebook page as a, all of my, I, like a pin board. I pinned all of the words and ev everything I got that I thought was valuable and, 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 you know, true to me in that time. There was almost no photos of me. Um, and, and you would never find a photo of me doing anything because I thought, no, Facebook's not so cool. You mustn't uh, put yourself out there and whatever. But yeah, it, it, I've completely changed as well. I mean, I'm, now I'm posting myself. I had a battle with this in the beginning too. I didn't want to put any content on Facebook, but now I just post on Facebook. I'm like, I don't care anymore. I just want everybody to know what this is. <laughs> People are going to judge you. It doesn't matter what you do, but at the end of the day, do you know what? You pay your bills. They don't. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. exactly. And you know what? You need to show up because it may be just that one person whose life you change. Yes. Uh, I've actually got this written on my board. Somebody in need is waiting on your obedience. And I heard that from somebody and I actually wrote it down because it touched me so much. 
And uh, Cecilia spoke about this yesterday as well. You know, um, you need to, to keep on showing up, not for you, but for the yes. people that are actually watching you because you think people don't watch you, but they do. They listen to you. You are an influencer now. You are influencing people in a good way and that is why you need to show up every day so every time you get that thought in your head oh i don't want to go live i don't want to do this then you think about the people and not about how you feel and i've been starting to do that and it really does work put yourself that, aside that, yes that and also if you show up to your customer today um doesn't matter how you're feeling what are you going to do to them in five years time if always put things in perspective yes. What is going to happen in five years time if you keep on doing what you're currently or if something had to just uh, had to upset you today is it really going to matter in five years time and also if you yes. show up for your customer today how are you going to change their life in five years time how much of an impact is that going to make in their life wow yes wow guys that is amazing i think let's take a two minutes or three minutes and if you have any comments on your side um i'll just quickly check on my side hello it's Stanley, my leaf um d just asked which d made a sale <laughs> i don't know, Your, I know asked Danielle Danielle just um, made a she sale. asked um who made a sale oh daniel daniel uh uh side hustle mom Oh, six hundred dollars sales. Side hustle, mom. Okay. Hello, make money with Nads. How are you, my precious friend? <laughs> and Alida. And then I think I, I think Alida also asked: Is this going to be? Is there going to be a replay? There, it, it is recorded somehow. Yes. Yes. So, so what I do is I actually download this and then I put it on my YouTube channel and then I'll send you the replay. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Yay. All and the lies, I'm, yes. <laughs> I'm going to be sponging up everything that I learned from every person in all of these lives that I'm doing this whole week. So I will send it to you as soon as it's up, okay? <laughs> and then just for interest sake, um, sweetheart, what time do you generally go live? Because, um, I, I mean, this is absolutely valuable. Yes. Normally what I do is I go live at three. That's my own live. And then nine o'clock at night, I go live with my mother. Yes. Now this yes. week. Yeah, so this week I've changed it up because it's just a bit too much to go live 12, 3 and 9. Mm -hmm. So this week I'm doing my lives at 12 to fit in with everybody else because it seems to be the time that everybody can fit uh, the lives in and then tonight at 9. So only for this week it will be 12 o'clock and 9 o'clock and then from next week again it will be 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, yay. <laughs> and you... You go I at 12 go live between 12 and 1 and then on a Friday I go live at 11.30 to 12.30. But Fridays I do a nice little interactive live yes. where I just invite people on. Yes, yeah. that's just lack it because it's just laid back, especially for your newbies that's also a little bit unsure. It gives them that, that screen time um, and that, that. that live time. Yes, and I absolutely love that. I saw you started doing that. And on Fridays, you know, you don't want to be Fridays are different days. So yeah, yeah. you gotta It's a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um so I've got somebody here that says I went live today, only one person joined, and then I ran away from my life. <laughs> so what you do is you take a sticker and you stick it over your um, the counter. Yeah. The first month. That's what you do so that you don't know. You need to show up as if yes. there's a hundred people there because then you get interaction. Then you get people that, because people scroll by. I don't know if you've been on TikTok long enough. Um, there is lives constantly that you, when you scroll down, it's on somebody's lives and somebody's going to listen to you. And if it's, they're interested, they're going to enter your live. But if yes. you are, um, hello if, if you're not interactive if you're not happy if you don't if you don't if you're not solution driven or um informative they're going to scroll by so you need to stick a sticky tape over that so that you can't see it yes. and then you just talk as if you have already done 300 sales 
Amen. Oh my goodness, yes. I'm going to do that. Yes. <laughs> There's an answer for you. Don't look at how many people's on your life. No. I, and I always say, you know what? I repurpose my lives. I use this content again and I, I cut it up sometimes and reuse it. So any piece of content that you make is something that you can use for the future that can grow your business. What so even if there's zero people, yeah. <laughs> even if there's zero people, do your yes. life. Say what you want to say because that's being recorded and you can still use it. Exactly. Um, I mean, your content is out there working for you forever. You yes. need to, you want to earn money today from your nine to five. You have to go and work eight hours. I created that's three videos crazy. that works for me daily. My content from six months ago still worked for me. Exactly. That's what I love the most about this is that, yes, you get up every day and you have to produce three pieces of content, but that content stays there for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's and then I take my three pieces of content, I put one on Instagram, one on Facebook Reels, one on YouTube. So with three videos, I have basically have seven, uh, seven exposures. Yes, it's amazing. Oh. Absolutely so love I put, it. I just cook and uh, cook a cakes bakery sweetheart it's never too late to start digital marketing what we're doing is only starting now this is yeah. so fresh it's and this is our future anything and everything is digital everything is going online so my sweetheart no this is definitely not too late to start you are so welcome to drop me a dm and i will gladly mm. gladly assist you yes it's never too late to start especially now it's only starting we are so still in the soft launch phase of this there's still oh, so many upcoming millionaires in south africa i just can't wait do, do you know what's super exciting okay two things we only launched the legacy builder in on april 1st well, that is what two and a half months yeah. Not even two and a half months so this is brand new this is the one thing yeah. the second thing is everyone that says yes it's going to become a millionaire. It's just a question Amen. of time. It's Amen. just a question of time. And there's no timeline. We are not in a race with anyone else. You mm -hmm. are in a race with you from yesterday. That's the only person that you are in competition with is the you of yesterday. But there's no timeline. Yes. But it is inevitable that if you are coachable, if you're consistent, and if you are putting out the right content, you will become a millionaire through this. It's just a question of time. Amen. Yes. Amen. Okay, so I think you need to run. Um, yes. I don't want to take more of your time. I just want to thank you and I want to bless your business. And I want the Lord to just increase you even tenfold more, hundredfold more. <laughs> and uh, for everything that you've given to everybody, thank you, Christelle, so much for coming on. And I will send you the replay. Thank everybody you. You are so precious, Annika. Thank you for this opportunity. You do not understand what this means to me. And thank you for the opportunity that I can add value to you yeah. and anyone else that's wanting to listen. It's uh, This is my heart. I just want to inspire. And I will do anything that I possibly can to to better somebody else's situation because what what's currently Amen. happening in me I believe I am a tool I am literally just a tool to be of value to somebody else and also help them increase their situ situation oh you are beautiful my friend thank you so much this was such a valuable live. I'm going to definitely share it everywhere that I can. I'll, I'll send it to you. Thank you guys for coming on and thank you guys for uh, staying on. And oh my goodness, I'm going to be sharing this. If you want it, reach out. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Drop, drop, drop a DM and we'll send it out. Yes. yes. <laughs> thank you, my friends. Awesome. Thank you so much. Blessings thank to you. you. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>